Hi everyone. Um, today I'm just going to do a little video to give uh, a demonstration on how to play the gong. So this is a 30 inch wind gong um, and I bought this from Tomann which is a distributor in Germany. And this at the time cost me about 300 quid which is a really good price for a gong this size. Um, the good thing about getting larger gongs is that they can produce quite a bassy tone which I really appreciate. It kind of vibrates your solar plexus really nicely. Um, and I, I particularly enjoy the sounds that wind gongs produce, even more so than the peisty gongs or the more expensive top of the range gongs. Um, so personally I'd go for a wind gong if I was buying gongs. Um, so, I've got three different types of mallets here that I'm going to use. This is a large mallet that I've made myself. Um, I made it by getting a drumstick, super gluing a golf ball onto the, the end of it, wrapping elastic bands and string around it. And then I got an old scarf, cut a bit of it off, glued it over, painted it, and it's really nice, nice personal, personal touch. Um, this is a Charklin hard mallet and this is a Flumi which I made myself which is um, a rubber ball, bouncy ball that you can get from any children's toy shop um, super glued onto a chopstick and it does the job nicely. So. First off, I'm going to show you the fluming technique, which is to use the rubber ball on the chopstick. And what you want to do is you want to hold it about there, and then you want to drag the rubber ball around the surface of the gong, maintaining contact and a fairly even pressure. And you just want to kind of feel how the sound is building with the gong and respond accordingly to that and according to the type of sound that you're hoping to create. So here goes. As you can see, it produces a really amazing sound, kind of like underwater dolphins and whales and oceans, and it's really nice. And the, with the fluming technique, if you get different size bouncy balls, it produces a different tone. Really small ones produce high pitch tones, and big ones produce deeper tones. And depending on where you flew me on the gong also can depend on the sound produced. Like in the centre it, it can produce a deeper tone. And then on the outside a more high pitched tone.
that's the flumeing technique. Really, you can produce some unbelievable sounds doing that. So this is a hard mallet, and it's small and hard. And um, this is good for producing crashing sounds. Now finally I'm going to show you a demonstration with the large fluffy mallet. This is often the favourite way for people to play the gongs but a nice mixture of each mallet type and you've got a lot of versatility there with the instrument. So with the mallet there are many ways to strike the gong. You can do double strikes. Um, you can keep on striking so that the gong begins to rock backwards and forwards. You can keep on hitting the edge of the gong so that it shakes from side to side. Um, you can keep on just having like a rhythmic sound with the gong. And hitting it ry rhythmically and sometimes it's nice to sort of have like a heartbeat type of rhythm. It really gets people into that primal space. But something I tend to do as a sound therapist is I play this part here, which for me is like the sweet spot for this particular gong. And among gong players, they've often said that on each gong there is a sweet spot, and it's down to you to find that. And also, I think for each person it's different. I quite like the bassy tones because I feel it in my solar plexus and it really takes me to that place of creation, deep, universal, expansive state of consciousness. So, with the mallet I tend to, to play here. So, I'm I'll give you a demonstration. So that's a demonstration of the 30 inch wind gong, a beautiful instrument and a great tool for healing, meditation, relaxation and cosmic exploration in your, in your consciousness, in your mind. I'd recommend to anybody to get a gong and just sit in front of it in the evening, maybe light some candles, 
just play the gong and away you go. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to stay um, updated with developments, um, visit my website, which is freeriverkommunity.com. Thank you. Peace and love.